Hi everyone, how are you? This is Olaf Bazowski. Welcome to my new Ableton Live 9 course from MacProVideo.com. The Mixing and Mastering Toolbox. We're going to have a look at the very latest version of Ableton Live. And as you can see, it's got a much darker interface. It's uh, They touched it up really nicely. Let me quickly show it to you. There's a track we're going to work with. That's what it looks like. Not too many channels, but enough to go through the basic concepts of mixing. And at the end, maybe a tiny bit of do-it-yourself mastering. So these are 18 tracks, all different kinds of stuff. Sweeps, crash, noises, synths guitars, beats, you name it, we have it all. And I think I'm going to play you a bit of the track now. So this is like the before shot, so to speak. Let me just quickly go back first to show you that there's really nothing on the tracks in terms of EQs or compressors, any other effects. See, there's just the, uh, the silent one. Oh yeah, there's the auto filter, but it's not turned on, as you can see, so I can just throw it away for now. Same for this one. Delete that. See, very clean track. Not a lot going on. Nothing on the effect returns either. And no mastering plugins either. So let's go listen to the track as it is right now. I'm not going to play the entire track because it's basically all the same, but I'm going to start let's say 15 seconds into the intro there we go so got a beats intro you can hear the sweep coming up it's this one there's a sample of a guitar there's a solo guitar and an acoustic guitar Got a couple synthesizer chords. Right? line right here I think these are just the low notes of the chords a couple bloops and bleeps didn't really know what to call these simple crash right here into the break. So yeah, it's quite all right. It's a nice track. It's a EDM type of track with um, an acoustic guitar in it. You don't hear a lot of that these days. So I thought that was nice. That actually reminded me of um, a bit of a Spanish kind of vibe and uh, that's why I call it El Capitan. You know, it's uh, could be a theme song for a Hollywood movie with uh, Clint Eastwood being El Capitan on his horse on the prairie. And Anyway, so we have the elements in the track. Not a lot of elements, but just enough to make a powerful track. And it's just that the balance is off. The mix is off. And we're going to fix that in this course. I'm going to show you everything I do. And as you could probably see, I was already trying to fix a couple balance issues right here. Just even before we started. Couldn't help myself. It's my nature, I guess. So we're going to try and make this track sound really big, powerful, juicy. Juicy, is that a word? Anyway, let's go to the next video and see what we can do to fix this track.